Praise the Lord and good morning, church. Come on, can you stand on your feet? He said, if I be lifted up on the earth, I'll draw all men to me. Come on, can you stand on your feet and clap those hands like this? Let's sing together. We make you bigger. We shout your name. We make you bigger. We shout your name. Everybody lift it up. We shout your name. We shout your name, we shout your name As we love on you Come on, sing it out Receive our love Receive our love And as we shout your name Receive our praises Receive our praises as we love. Come on, can we lift it up to him today? Receive our love. Receive our love. And as we shout. Receive our praises. Receive our praises. Come on, sing your name is There's no other name. No other name. No other name. No other name. Say your name is high. Be glorified. You are great. Yeah. Say we live your. We, we make you bigger. We shout your name, sir. 
Come on, shout. Nobody greater. Nobody greater. Your love, your love is greater than ours. Greater than ours. There's no one, no one greater. greater. So your strength, your strength is greater than ours. Greater than ours. So you're no one, no one greater. There's no one greater. Say your strength is greater than ours. Come on. Say no one greater. Say no one greater. Say no one greater. I can search all the earth and I never find anybody. There's no one greater. Say no one greater. There is nobody greater. I could search all the world. I'd never find anybody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. 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 Nobody greater. Nobody greater. I could search the highest mountain and I could search the lowest valley. I'd find that there's nobody greater. There's nobody. There's nobody. There's nobody. You ought to turn to your neighbor this morning and tell them there's nobody. And this joy that I have, the world didn't give it. Yeah. And the world can't take it away. If you're grateful that there's nobody greater than him, there's no joy like his. We have a new song for you this morning. Come on, can you clap those hands like this? Clap. We will not be, we will not be shaken. We will not be, we will not be moved. Somebody to get excited about right here. Excited. Though the night may seem joy is coming, coming. Joy is coming, coming, coming. All oh, praise to oh, King Jesus. I know joy is coming. I know joy is coming. Yes, joy is coming. Yes, joy is coming. Yes, joy is coming. Say we will fear no evil. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Oh yeah. See though the night. Come on, sing it. See joy is coming, coming.
songs of your light can drown our darkness and bring our joy to light. We won't submit to sorrow. Our joy is coming in the morning. Yeah. Hey. In the morning. That's all it is. Come on. Say, your light can drown our darkness and bring our joy to light. We won't submit to sorrow. Our joy is coming in the morning. We won't submit to depression because we believe that joy is here.
This is your part. Throw the night, throw the night, they sing we Joy is coming, coming, coming in the morning. All praise, all praise to King Jesus. I know joy is coming. I know joy is coming. Can y'all help us sing it? Throw the night, sing Joy is coming, coming in the morning. All praise to King Jesus. Cause I know joy is coming. One more time, hands raised. Though the night. Shout it. Joy is coming. All praise to you, Jesus. I know joy is coming. Yes, joy is coming. Come on, can you clap your hands and open up your mouth? Joy is here, joy is here. Joy is here, freedom's here. Healing is in this room. I dare you to clap your hands like you believe that is already done. We've been made into a poor night, but joy, joy comes in the morning. It's morning, can you lift your hands? Joy is here, joy. Joy is here, joy is here. Joy is here. We thank you for your joy, for your peace. Hey, for your love. Even in the darkest, even in the darkest times, we know that morning always comes. That's where your joy is. Can you lift those hands for joy? Worship your name, Jesus. Can you lift those hands for a new season, a new day, a new horizon? Come on. Open up your mouth and worship the King of Glory. Worship your name, Jesus. Yes, Lord. So let him turn it in your Watch him work it for your good. He's not done with what he started. He's not done until it's good.
doing a new thing. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day that you have made. We rejoice and we are so glad. Now, God, in this atmosphere, we have prophetically declared that you are doing a new thing. God, our viewers online are declaring in their living room that you are doing a new thing. That person that's watching from the hospital room this morning, they're declaring that you are doing a new thing. God, the one who stands inside of 2933 South Miami Boulevard, right next to me, we are declaring in faith together that you are doing a new thing. God, we thank you for what you have done. We thank you for every way that you have made. But God, we are wise enough to bless you in advance for the things that are to come for us right now. So now, God, in this atmosphere, God, some have come sick this morning. Some have come in need of hope this morning. Some have come in need of so many things. And we know that you are God that can answer all things at one time. So we need you to be that God right now and answer everyone's need online and in the room right now. God, we thank you for being that kind of God that we can call on in any time, in good times, in challenging times. You are still that God. And we thank you for the new thing that you're doing inside of us, around us, in our children, in our homes, in our jobs, in our businesses. God, we thank you in advance for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name, we all say together, amen, amen. If you are thankful that God is doing a new thing, would you clap your hands all over the room? Online, would you put those hand clap emojis in the comments? If you believe that God is doing a new thing in you, come on, y'all, let's raise the roof off this place by clapping our hands and telling God thank you that he is doing a new thing for us. He's doing, I believe that. I believe that, that he is creating a way in the wilderness. I believe that, that God is causing there to be a stream in the desert, in the dry places that God is about to open up right now. I believe that for you this morning. I believe that for the mother, that things are changing for your child right now. I believe that for the brokenhearted, that God is turning for you right now. I believe that for the sick, that God is healing right now. That's the new thing that you've been praying for. That's the new thing that you've been believing for. And we believe right now, my faith connects with your faith. And we declare it done in Jesus' name. Would you turn to your right and to your left as you're sitting down and just tell somebody God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing. Look, we'd like to welcome you to World Overcomers Christian Church, person by person, name by name. Those of you who are viewing online with us for the first time, we are so glad that you have joined World Overcomers Christian Church this morning. If you are here in the building, this is your first time, we'd like to say welcome to you. We are glad that you're here. And our senior pastor is going to come out and he's going to greet you a little bit. But I just want to tell you, thank you so much for being here. If you are a first-time guest, you should have received one of those tickets that you're able to redeem a beverage at our cafe outside. So make sure when you leave, you grab that beverage. Now remember, it's a non-alcoholic beverage. Thank you, Jesus. The strongest drink that you're going to get at our cafe is coffee. All right? A chocolate latte, whatever you like. That's the strongest drink we can offer you. But we want to say thank you for being with us today. Look, when you came in this morning, I know some folks was like, yeah, I get a drink. Yep. Coffee, water, juice, apple juice, whatever your choice. All right. Look, you should have received a bulletin when you came in this morning. And I just want to give you a few highlights that will be happening. Overcomers Counseling Center. That is a, a business that is started right out of here, World Overcomers Christian Church. And they have taken over our lobby today. And I'm going to give you a statement that we used to make all the time. That preventative maintenance is much better than crises management. Preventative maintenance is better than crises management. And oftentimes people wait until they get into a crisis to then be concerned about their mental health. Well, thank God for a church like World Overcomers who says you don't have to wait until you fall apart to figure out how to put it back together. You can just maintain it as opposed to letting it fall apart. So we're thankful for the leadership of our senior pastor, our first lady, and the team, the World Overcomers Counseling Center team. They'll be in the lobby. There are age-appropriate tables out there. So if you've seen it on your way in, no problem. On your way out, make sure after you grab your popcorn and make your Victory Park donation that you visit with one of the tables there. Also, uh, we have voter registration 
as you saw the folks, you may have seen them as you're coming in. But if you have not registered to vote or you want information about candidates, you can make sure that you stop at that table, which is right by our popcorn table where the Victory Park is, all right? Vision Sunday, Pastor Andy will be giving more information about the vision. I know you've been hearing it, you've been hearing about the offering, you've been hearing about what's been gonna be happening, but Pastor's gonna go into great detail about not only the vision of World Overcomers Christian Church, but your part, what Victory Park is, what benefit there is for you. He's gonna talk about that on Sunday, November 6th. So I'm encouraging everyone to tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell an old member, tell a member who has stopped coming, but they're connected to you. Tell them you need to come to church on Sunday, November the 6th and hear more about that. And then finally, my final stage announcement is that on Friday, this Friday, to celebrate the release of his CD called The Encounter, our, one of our previous, our past worship leaders, uh, Minister Todd Galbraith will be here on Friday night. The door is open at 7.30. The admission is free, however, they do require that you register, so make sure you hop on to Todd Galbert's website and you'll be able to redeem all of that information there. How many women went to see Woman King on Friday night with first? All right, all right, all right, that's good. Thank you for the hand clap and not the chant. We want you to be powerful, but we want you to be powerful women. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you all for supporting First. I believe y'all had a good time. I saw some of the pictures and the highlights from it. Thank you so much. Look, those of you who won your gift certificates and you received them, awesome. There are a few of you who did not. You can stop by the connection point on your way out, and um, uh, Sister Kiyosha will have those gift cards for you. And we just want to say thank you so much for participating with us. All right, let's give to the work of the kingdom now. If you need an envelope, you can raise your hand on these gentlemen in blue. We'll be happy to serve you. Yep, you just raise your hand, they'll serve you. God has been so faithful to us, and we have no struggle in giving to the work of the kingdom. And I tell you one thing, God has been so, 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 so good. My seed doesn't only connect me, uh, con con excuse me, cover me financially, but it covers my children, it covers my health, it covers so many things. When I say it covers my health, there are procedures that should cost more, but I'm a tither, and God makes sure that it covers. Where your medical insurance be like, no, you got to pay this out of pocket. God is like, uh-uh, that's my child right there. He's a tither. I got him covered. Where the bed next to me might be more expensive, but God makes sure that I get the favor and I don't have to deal with it. And some of us, even for our children going to school, thank you, Jesus, scholarships and just awards and things of that nature. God, thank you so much. And if you're like me, you're thankful and you have no trouble sowing into the kingdom of God and tithing. I want to encourage you to do that this morning. What is a tithe? Pastor Tyrus is 10% of all the Lord has blessed you with. All of your increase, 10% is really a drop in the bucket on what God is going to do for you. I believe that for you. I'm going to pray with you now. Then we're going to show videos. I have a few video announcements and the praise team is going to come back. Then our senior pastor is going to come with the word for this morning. Let's pray now. God, we thank you so much. You give seed to the sower. And God, according to your word in the book of Isaiah, that you would create a stream in the desert. So now, God, whoever is giving for the very first time and maybe they're experiencing somewhat of a dry place, God, we call that stream right now. So that by this time, tomorrow and the next day, the stream would be present and they'll be able to drink not only from the water of life, but from the water of increase and wealth. We thank you for it now, God. We understand according to your word that wealth and riches are our portion and we don't back down to what you want to give to us. So in these moments that we share our faith through giving, God, we thank you in advance for what you're going to do for us. We declare it done now in the name of the one who hung, bled, and died, rose himself from the grave in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. We all say together, amen. Please remain seated. The bucket's going to pass. After the video announcement, you'll join us in worship. Hey, World Overcomers family. Fall is right around the corner, which means Harvest Fest 2022 is almost here. Join us here at World Overcomers on Saturday, October 29th from 12 to 3 p.m. This will be an event for the entire family. You don't want to miss out on the candy, food trucks, carnival games, carnival rides, inflatables, treats, entertainment, and so much more. We cannot wait to see you here. Save the date and get ready for the treat of the year. We'll see you soon. I, I don't need
need you to talk to your neighbor. I need you to talk to yourself, but specifically talk to your hands. Look at your hands. Look at your hands and say, get ready to handle more. I know you thought about pulling the towel in, but tell your hands, get ready to handle more. You're not prophetic with me. Prophesy to your hands and say, I know you thought about writing a resignation letter. I know you sat down to type up a letter and say, I quit, but God said, get ready for more. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, get ready for more. What's up, family? It's your boy, Todd Galbert. I am, I'm coming home, y'all. I'm coming home. I'm so grateful to be coming here, Word Overcomers Christian Church, to release my newest record, Encounter. Listen, most, I don't know, I don't know if it's most, I just know a lot of people know me from leading worship at this church. It was this platform, it was this ministry, it was Pastor Andy, Lady LaShawn, thank you guys for bringing my little country butt from Fayetteville, North Carolina to here. Um, had some of the greatest worship experiences of my life at this church. And so I said, yo, let's go back to where it started, World Overcomers Christian Church. October the 14th, we're gonna be here releasing this new sound God has given me. I believe these songs are gonna be life-changing to so many people around the world but not just around the world. Let's start October 14th here in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, lifting up the name of Jesus, celebrating God for this new record that I believe is gonna be so transformative in the lives of so many people. October 14th, 7.30 p.m. You know where it is, you're here right now. Word Overcomers Christian Church. See you guys then, love y'all. Praise the Lord. Can you stand on your feet? If you know that God reigns, he reigns forever. He reigns as king. Come on, can you clap your hands like this? Clap, clap. Can we shout one more time? Everybody say yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Say yeah. Oh, Trust in your name, Jesus. He's able to save and deliver us. We put our hope in your name, Jesus. Say blessing. Blessing in my Blessing and honor, blessing and honor, oh, yeah. and unto our God, God forever. forever. All of the honor, all of the praise, yeah. 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 Sing hallelujah.
Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Don't say it like you mean it. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Over my circumstance. Over my situation. Over whatever the doctor tried to tell you. Over whatever lie the enemy has tried to say. Over whatever difficulty is about to happen. Over my circumstance. Giving me another chance. You reign. He reigns. Over my circumstance. He reigns. He reigns. You're giving me another chance. He reigns. He reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. Our God reigns. With power and majesty. Hey, Our God reigns. Dominion authority. Our God reigns. Hey, just wave your hands. Wave your hands. God, you reign. God, you reign. God, you reign. God, you reign. Rain Jesus rain. Rain Jesus rain. You see King of Zion Judah's life. You rain. Rain, rain, rain Jesus. You rain. Rain Jesus. You see rain. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You may be seated in the name of the Lord. Anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord? This morning, I asked the question, anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? No, I asked the question, anybody glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Glad you're alive, glad you're still breathing for everyone that made it to be in the room with us this morning and for everyone that's watching live around the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome to World of Recomers to our 10 a.m. service. And uh, whatever time you may be watching this, if you're watching it, I don't know, maybe Tuesday, it may be Wednesday, but our God reigns this morning. It's Sunday morning, huh? Hallelujah. And we're declaring our God is in control. He's steadfast. He's unmovable. That there's nothing impossible that our God reigns. You know, the death and life is in the power of your mouth. And something happens when you make a good confession. Something happens when you say out of your own mouth, you can't let us sing for you. And you can't let us worship for you. And you can't let us praise for you. And we will shout. But there's something that happens when you open up your mouth say no my God is in control and he is steadfast and he's unmovable and really nothing is too difficult for God and I'm a believer and not a doubter I said I'm a believer and not a doubter no I need a witness in here this morning I'm a believer and not a doubter and there may be things that may try to make me doubt but I declare that I believe and if you're with us this morning, welcome. So excited that you're with us. If you're here with us for the very first time, welcome. Praise God for you coming to church. Praise God for whoever invited you. We invite you to come again and again and again. On your way out today in the main lobby, there's a connection center there. And if you stop by and say, hey, I'm a first-time visitor, they'll give you something. On behalf of myself and the leadership, just appreciating you coming to worship with us for the very first time. And, uh, and for being here with us in church. If you're watching live stream, wherever you may be in the Triangle area, might I invite you, may I invite you to come to worship with us because if this is what you're looking at through the screen, I'm just trying to tell you something about being in a room, something about being in the presence of God. I need a witness. Something about being next to somebody that's a living witness. Something about not just worshiping by yourself. You may order Amazon by yourself, but don't worship by yourself. You may play video games by yourself, but don't worship by yourself. Give God a little bit of your time. And, and come together in the house of God with the people of God and find out you're not the only one with a testimony. You, you're not the only one who's a miracle. You, you're not the only one the enemy is attacking. You, you're not the only one that God is delivering. Something about fellowship. The Bible says that as we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. So there's something about fellowshipping that cleanses. Hallelujah. You didn't get in trouble by yourself. Just about all of us who got in trouble, got in trouble with somebody. I need a witness in the building. That you was taught how to get in trouble. You didn't have to be taught how to lie, but you ain't got to lie, Craig. You didn't have to be taught how to lie, but you, most of what you did, you did with somebody else. 
And it's amazing that we want to do sin with everybody else and then want to try to do the Lord alone. Doing God alone is harder than doing God with a brother or a sister. I need a witness in the building. They used to say a song, I don't need nobody but Jesus. Nobody but, long as I got King Jesus, I don't need nobody else. It's a nice idea, but it's just not true. You need somebody else. You need a friend. You need somebody that can pray for you. You need somebody that can encourage you. You need somebody that knows what it's like to go through this thing called life in this particular moment. And when you come to the house of God, for all of you that are watching live around the area, when you come to the house of God, you connect, you fellowship, you get to serve. Not only do we serve you, but you get to serve the Lord. And there's something about serving the Lord. And so can I invite you to come to worship? Can I invite you to come to church? And uh, if you're watching around the world, wherever you may be you just let us know yeah I'm here I don't care I'm a part of the streaming service I may be in Milwaukee Wisconsin but I'm a part of the streaming service I may be in Chicago but I'm a part of the streamings I may be in New York I may be in Philadelphia but I'm streaming with you today let us know if you're a first-time visitor with us let us know and we trust you since the presence of God and uh, there's something about the presence of God I'm going to say that one more time in the house. There's something about the presence of God. No, I'm just going to say it one more time. I said there's something about the presence of God. You can learn a lot about somebody by bringing them into the presence of God. Oh, well, help us, Holy Ghost. You dating somebody, you want to see if they have demons, bring them into the presence of God. No, I need, I need a witness. I need a witness. Because remember, remember when you had your demons? Remember when you had yours? Remember when you had yours? You couldn't really sit still in the house of God. You, you peed three times. You kept going to the bathroom. You, you had to keep going out. You had to go. You check your child and children's ministry, but you had to keep going in and check again. Because when you get in the presence of God, the enemy don't really like being in the presence of God. And, and whatever is on you, whatever demonic oppression is trying to grab onto you, it's either got to let you go or make you leave my god something happens when god's people come together and somebody says god i love you god i bless you something happens when we come together something happens something supernatural happens when we come together and together practice the presence of god Something happens when we do it. If you've ever tried to do the presence of God by yourself, you will admit it's harder to do it by yourself than it is with other people. I mean, you can do it by yourself, but it's, it's not as easy to do the presence of God by yourself as it is with other people because the Bible says that where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Wish somebody knew some Bible in here that when two or three of us wave our hands, when two or three of us say, Lord, I love you, when two or three of us say, I don't know what you're going through, but God is on my side when two or three of us say, I don't know what you've been through, but I got a testimony. Something happens in the room. Something happens when we come together. And so we come together on a Sunday. That's an awesome thing. Friday night, we're going to be coming together. Where there's a, It's a whole free, live release album. Todd Galbraith, who used to be one of the main worship leaders here and now running all over the world, is doing a release concert here. He's just releasing his album here. Decided to do it here. There's no ticket. You can just come and get into the presence of the Lord. And if you're dealing with sickness, come get into the presence of the Lord. If you're dealing with depression, why don't you try getting in the presence of the Lord? If you're dealing with fear, I, I got an, I got a suggestion. I, I have a suggestion. Maybe there's a whole lot of fear all over you because you're always just by yourself. If you could ever just decide, let me go down to the house of God. I was glad when they said, let's go down to the house of God and let me lift up holy hands and open up my mouth and give God 
praise and see what happens in my life Friday night. They're going to be practicing the presence of God and being in the presence of the Lord and worshiping with other people that are flawed just like you. And uh, the person, the Bible says that a person who is forgiven much praises much. And so people who have been forgiven much are going to come together and praise much on Friday night. And so we just invite you. I want to let you know through a little, the little uh, video that we announced it. But I just wanted to em emphasize it again. Friday night, I'll be here, and I'm sure I'm gonna say something at some point. Not gonna preach because it's a it's a worship concert. But we are gonna worship the Lord together. We're a worshiping church, just not a, not just a gospel church. And so Friday night, doors open at seven. Concert starts promptly at seven thirty. You know, World Overcomers, we start on time. And so that's gonna happen on Friday night. You won't be here all night, and uh, it, it's going to be a good, uh, maybe a good concert for about an hour, hour and 20, 30 minutes. A good moment to worship the Lord and praising God. That's going to happen. The young man that was up here today in the baseball cap with the blue, with the, with the, with the Boston uh, baseball cap on. So funny for him to wear a Boston baseball cap since really he's actually from North Carolina. But that guy, Anthony Brown is his name. And uh, he just released an album uh, recently. What was it called? The Altar Experience? The Live Altar Experience? Let me tell you something right now. That young man, Todd Galberth, but uh, as well, that young man, these young black men, they are writing songs about the Lord. I, I need another clap better than that. Uh, these are young black men who are singing songs about the Lord. They're not singing twerk songs. They're singing praise be the Lord songs. There ain't a worldly artist that we like who didn't start in church. But they start in church and leave church because we just don't support the artists enough we we sing it everybody else's stuff and here we have two young black african-american males who have decided to dedicate their gifting and talent to the kingdom of god and i think we ought to support them now i don't want you to support them just to support them i want you to support them because they're anointed and they're good you get that Anthony Brown album, that thing is anointed. That is, there's, there is some oil on that Anthony Brown album. There, that's his name, right? I ain't, I ain't saying it wrong, right? That you, there's some oil on that thing. That thing will break a yoke off of you. That thing will break a yoke off of you. And Todd's album, the same. These are anointed men of God, and they are worshiping the Lord. And so support them. And, uh, and let's, let's take care of our own. But we're glad you're with us today. Trust you sense the presence of God.